Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about the comparison of satellite and optical communications. So along with that, we are going to see some uh, future trends as well as applications of satellites. Okay. So before uh, getting into the future trends of the satellite communications or its applications, let's see what is the main difference between a satellite communication as well as optical communication. Okay, so we have uh, drawn a table over here. Coming to the satellite communications, okay, electromagnetic waves or the microwaves carries the information uh, throughout the satellite communication. And coming to the optical communication, okay, photons carry the information uh, that is in the form of light. Photons carry the information. And coming to satellite communication, antennas are required in order to transmit the signal from one point to another point. Mostly antennas are uh, used and these satellite communications are majorly dependent on particular antennas. Okay. And coming to the opti optical communication as it is wired and is transmitted and the information is transmitted through a light. Okay. So antennas are not at all required over here. Okay. And coming to the satellite communication, launching and maintenance cost is very, very high. Okay. As we all know, the satellites which are launched into a space, okay, uh, takes a huge maintenance as well as the cost is also very, very high. Okay. Coming to the optical communication, it's just a cable kind of communication for uh, connecting few systems. So installation cost is very, very, very low. Okay. And coming to the satellite communication, lifetime of a satellite is around 10 to 15 years and coming to the optical communication, the lifetime of these particular optical cables or the optical communication systems will be around 15 to 20 years. Okay. Now coming to the satellite communication, a point to multi-point communication is possible. Suppose you are transmitting a signal using a satellite. Okay. So from a single satellite, you can communicate with several earth stations present on the particular uh, areas or the countries and coming to the optical communication, it's a just a cable which uses the photon or a light to transmit the information from one point to another point. So point to point, point to point communication is possible. Okay. And so why we are focusing more on uh, satellite communication as well as optical communication means in the last four, one, uh, fourth year, first semester subject, the last unit of um, my microwaves was dependent on this particular optical communication. So using this particular optical communication. Okay. So we are extending if at all the communications are wireless and we are using microwaves with respect to the satellite communication, how they vary from optical communication. Okay. So satellite communication is a wireless, which mostly depending on electromagnetic waves or microwaves, whereas optical fiber is mostly a wired. Okay. Which uses a light form or a light energy or a photons in the to transfer or carry some information. Okay. Now let's, uh, let's focus uh, mostly on the satellite communication coming to the future trends in satellite communication. Okay. So uh, as the technology is growing, the power generation of satellites has increased significantly. Okay. So they are using multiple batteries, multiple backups and the solar powers are uh, installed in several manners for a particular satellite in order to consume more energy for the utilization of the communication. Okay. And as the technology has been improved, the launching of the satellite as well as the uh, spacecrafts, which carry these satellites, okay, have been improved a lot. Okay. And the lifetime of the satellites also have been increased from 12 years to 15 years. Okay. And so the solid state technology has improved the size and cost of the ground stations. Okay. So as the technology is getting improved, Okay, there is a more requirement of ground station at several areas in order to communicate with the satellite. So the size as well as the cost of the ground station technology also have been improved. Okay, and so the most uh, most of the satellite communication is used by this particular DTH direct to home in order to communicate directly to the home with some several systems like can be mobile communication system of television systems or anything. Okay. So DTH is the trademark of modern satellite communication. Okay. It would not be uh, possible without this particular satellite communication, all the DTH 
uh, TV channels, mobile communication channels, all these were not be there. If at all, there are no satellites. Okay. And applications of satellite communications. Coming to the applications of satellite communications, mostly the main purpose of using a satellite communications or the applications comes to weather forecasting in order to see uh, the weather, humidity, uh, temperature or any climatic conditions, rainfall or any kind of thing. Uh, we can use these satellites and uh, estimate or predict the weather uh, conditions for the coming days. Okay. And coming to re radio and TV broadcast. So satellites here plays a major role for broadcasting a signal for the radio as well as TV uh, things. And also apart from this, the satellite communications are also provide many services to the uh, military navigation and also throughout the globe, which can be considered as our global communication. And the main advantage of using satellite communication is we can also connect the remote areas. Okay. So on the whole, if at all you are using a satellite, okay, we can entirely cover the whole globe. Okay. And we can communicate from any part of the world. Okay.